Hey, it's Moon. Today I'm going to be talking about dealing with inconsistency and becoming more consistent as a player. This is the most common question I see asked, especially by new players, but also by higher level players alike. The thing is, you have to realize that there are three types of consistency. Number one, overall gameplay consistency. Number two, aim consistency. And number three, mental consistency. So for gameplay consistency, first you have to realize that you are never going to be 100% consistent, especially in pugs, okay? Because you're playing against five players that could have no idea what they're doing, they're working picks, they play tremendously differently every game, you're never going to be perfectly consistent, you're just trying to minimize that inconsistency. Now, the other thing you have to recognize is that inconsistency in your overall gameplay is mostly to do with team Teams that can or cannot execute on the many holes in your gameplay. As you start out at a lower level, you are going to have a ton of holes in your gameplay. That means maybe you peek incorrectly, maybe you don't use your nades correctly, maybe you don't check every corner, stuff like that. Whereas as you get better, you minimize those as much as possible. And when you're lower level and you play against people that are of your level, you're going to find that only some of them will be able to actually luckily deal with your holes. So maybe one team plays players that hide in corners and you're bad at checking corners. Well, that's going to mean that they're executing on that hole in your gameplay and they're going to destroy you. Whereas another team that maybe plays more aim-focused play will be destroyed by you because of the way you play. So it's important to remember that as you get better, a lot of your inconsistency is going to go away for those reasons. Now, the second type of consistency is going to be the aim consistency. Now, there are two things for aim consistency. Number one is having a sensitivity that is both correct for you and that you are used to. If you're switching sensitivities all the time, you really need to deal with that because you're never going to be used to your sensitivity and you're going to have a lot of inconsistencies there. Number two is going to be you're warming up and I think a lot of people have troubles warming up correctly because they'll come into a server like this or an aim map and just practice tapping on heads okay which is absolutely fine and by the way this is aim underscore bots a that's absolutely fine but that's just one of many things that you have to do while you're warming up so first I'll come in here and just tap on heads just to get the initial feeling for exactly how I need to be playing and warming up here early on and then I'll practice flick shots which are also a vital really thing that you need to have down when you're playing the game and I'll practice it from both angles you don't want to be practicing just flick shots from one side then the third thing is you need to be practicing something that will really get you prepared for being in a game and to do that I do both moving bots and I do spraying multiple targets now switching targets between spraying isn't something that you need to do all the time but i do it because it gets my head in the game i really need to focus for that i need to be a hundred percent thinking about exactly that and that'll get me ready for a game so i'll just spray like this get a 2k and i'm just practicing getting that second player with the spray just so i can get used to exactly what it feels like as I move into the game. Now, the final way I'll warm up is because I use the off all the time, I warm up using my strafe shots. This is where you're moving to the right and then you move back to the left and you shoot in that millisecond of downtime. And this is something that you need to warm up with because you don't use it every round as an opper, but you use it very often and you need to be ready for this. So I'll just warm this up just for a little bit. You can see without me having warmed up at all right now, it is very tough for me to do consistently. Then, of course, I can switch right on over, pick up an AK again, and use the moving bots here on this map. And it's very easy to get fully warmed up by using all of the tools available on this map. Now, mental consistency is the bit that's a lot more personal, and I really can't explain 
fully how to become more mentally consistent because it's something that varies between every single player out there. You need to be able to recognize when you're going on a bender, when you're getting angry, you need to be able to calm yourself down, you need to be able to really deal with that on your own. But one of the one things that I see the most common that really messes people up is they'll be having a fantastic game and they'll be playing perfectly and they'll be playing with a team that is playing poorly. And they'll start raging at their team and by raging at their team they end up really playing worse themselves. Now by raging at your team I don't necessarily mean you are yelling at your team. I might be talking more about you're watching your team and they do something wrong and you're like oh my god what the hell are they doing right you can think that to yourself but you need to keep your calm and you need to recognize that counter-strike in matchmake when you're not playing with a team which i would really recommend to help with your consistency a little bit is all nine other players in the server are randoms they are you are the only consistent in a game full of variables, okay? So if you are having a good game, you need to relax, calm down, and go, great, I'm having a good game. That means I'm improving. It doesn't matter what the scoreline is. It doesn't matter anything like that because so long as you are having a good game and you are positively affecting the teammates and the players around you and the round score, you are having a good game and that means you should be happy with the way you are playing, okay? I understand it can be very annoying to have to go into games and carry your team and it's very hard to rank up sometimes, but if you continue to play well, you will rank up over time. You will get those rank ups. What you won't get is if you rage, start playing worse, and then play badly, then you won't rank up and you're not helping your team in any way whatsoever. Anyways, I thought this is something that a lot of people would have problems with, so I thought I would mention it. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helped.